Hi Ron, welcome along to today's video. So, I've had someone ask me about clearing blocked sink and basins, baths, having a lot of trouble and they've been trying those detergents, things you put down the drains, strong cleaners and so on and they haven't done it uh, so they're trying to resort to the really, really strong ones uh, to clear it but what you don't realise is when you put those down if you've got a block waste, uh, the water in the waste that's blocked behind it will dilute the power of that stuff. And usually, if you're lucky, very lucky, it will work. But if it's a strong block, it won't. So I've always suggested when doing a block waste, what's my favourite tool? And I've always come with this one because I've had one of these for years. This one's called a Pango. It's an air pressure gun. Now, some of you have bought one of these, said they're not more than about £20, pretty cheap, and said you had no luck with it. And I realised after a little while that there's a few other things you need to look at when you use a pressure gun. Uh, it's not as simple and straightforward, and I probably should have filled you in. All the other videos I've done about plumbing and clearing it with these is about the overflows and other pipes that may need blocking up before you use it. Because if you lose the pressure when you fire this gun at the waist, if it loses it by going out of an overflow or up a bar face because they're teed in, uh, then you're going to find that it's not going to work. So by that, I'll show you what I mean by the, the waste. I'll just show you the sink waste for a start. So here is our sink waste. It's empty in a, in a water down. It's a little bit slow. Could do a go in a minute. Um, and this is the part I mean that needs blocking. Now if I just blow through there, we're leaving this open. The pressure from the gun will be released through this overflow hole. Okay, so it's not going to get the thump it needs against the blockage. It's just going to come up out of here. So I have a little thing like this full of plumber's mate. And I just whack it over the hole like this and push it in. And then what I do is I hold that there when I blow it. So it stays there and stops the pressure from coming up and losing it it's actually going to push all the pressure from the gun straight down towards the blockage so this is how it would kind of be I would hold that like that with this hand and put the gun over here it's firmly in the waist make sure it's got the right bone that completely covers the hole hold it down hard firmly push down firmly and hold your hand firmly and then fire okay and then you get the full power of that uh, down the waist and should clear the block for you so you would say pop up waist how do i going to get my gun in there and clear it well these do unscrew actually you just keep going and it will come out there mine comes completely out like that and that's what it should do always a bit mucky unfortunately at the bottom uh, and then you can put your gun in there and blow it and then screw it back afterwards and don't forget that again you've got an overflow and there it is and that must be bunged up again so right for that one i can put that bung i've just showed you over the end of it and that will do the trick for me and there's one other thing to consider about the bath one so if you have a blocked up bath which is quite common uh it's the overflow up here now it probably best just find something that fits over there nice and snug i did have something but i've lost it a while back but i just use rag now put a firm bit of rag over the end of there but make sure it's covered before you blow the waste down there any other problems yep just one right take a look at this little drawing i know i've got an either artwork at school never mind uh, there's our bath there's our basin another thing that can happen is that the bath waste comes along here and joins with the basin waste and then it runs along and drops into our stack and quite often you get a blockage somewhere here normally just before it drops in the stack weirdly but that means both of them can be blocked and if you just try putting a pressure gun down there, the bath waste with furthest away, which makes sense, um, what's going to happen is it's just going to go along here, the pressure, and come up there and into the basin. So that's where the pressure gun can fall down, and it means really that the only way around it is obviously you can hold the, the rag in the overflow and put the gun on the waste. Make sure you put some water in it first, always do before you use the pressure gun, it needs water to force along to hit the blockage. And then get a partner, someone, to hold the basin waist down. 
and something in the overflow then all that pressure you fire won't be lost up here into the wash hand basin it will go and hit the blockage somewhere around wherever it is and clear it and that's the way you've got to work with a pressure gun there must be no air leaks they mustn't lose their pressure somewhere um, you've got to get that pressure completely to the blockage that's how they work like a hammer effect hitting the block so one other last thing before we go on these lovely mug this one i've had for about 25 years well worn it's got plumbers mate all over it still works magnificently but one thing to remember is that you pump these things up right and what you mustn't do is really pump them too high because if you do that the amount of power coming out the end is gonna possibly blow the trap apart um, so that's another little danger with these and i think that's a problem so don't be tempted to go mad and pump it up to some fantastic pressure and bang just in case because nine times out of ten be all right because solvent welded joints are everywhere now but you might have a poor joint that's been made in the past uh, that's not very strong and then a, a pump like this with a pressure on it could blow the pipe and uh, you have a leak so it's just something else to be aware of just don't pump them up too far all right and you'll be all right i say nine times out of ten i've never had that problem but then i never go mad with pumping the thing up so that's it as far as pressure guns go. Um, they're a good tool. I, I tend to use that for blockage all the time. When I do get that rare occasion when it doesn't actually work, then you've got to start with other means of doing it. And usually I don't result with the, I don't result, I don't result <laughs> to using those liquids at all. Um, I usually cut the pipe and stick some rods down it and do it that way, the manual way. Usually when you get a block, when it's linked like I've showed you on that drawing, it's usually just before it drops in the stack. So I tend to cut it somewhere there and poke something through. Um, it, you know, it's up to you. It depends on everybody's system is different, so you may have a completely different system to that. In an ideal world, you'd have every single waste running separately to the, to the soil stack, and you'd have a, a really good running that you know, wouldn't block up very much at all. The other thing as well, before we go, the sink one again, back to that. Do remember you may have a washing machine joining it, and also you may have a dishwasher joining it. Now, you know, again, you, they may be just open pipes that stand up with a thing hooked in. Again, you're going to lose your pressure there. You fire down. The pressure's gone up the pipe uh, where the washing machine hose is stuck in. So, therefore, once again, the pump is useless. You've lost all your pressure. So, that's something else to look out for when you're doing the sinks. All right. So, that's about all the main hazards, but I still think for the money that they cost uh, they're absolutely a lifeline tool well they are for me i've used them for years okay that's all though uh, and that's just regarding blocked sinks and stuff that we get around the home another hopefully useful diy tip for you okay that's about it though all my stuff you know where to go Derek and 33 thanks for watching guys